All right, Casey Cameron Boy here, working on the First Amendment audit. Let's see these people respect their freedom to record. I just seen a security guard that I was able to recognize from a past video. But I don't know if I film him or someone else did. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Yeah, well, what is this place about here? What was that? What is this place about? This is Health and Human Services Agency. All the addresses are right there or behind that wall right there. Oh, cool. What is it that you guys do here? What was that? What services do you provide here? I didn't ask for help. Yeah, but you're in your app. Can I help you? I didn't ask for help. Yeah, but were you looking for a certain department or anything? Oh, oh, that's the help you're offering? Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Not yet. I'll, I'll handle it there. Okay. I appreciate you, though. Mm -hmm. I thought you were being rude or something. No, I was legitimately asking. Oh, legit question? Oh, okay. So what services do you provide here? Like, you guide people, like, to their, like, the certain departments and stuff? Or? Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you. She'll be outside. So, what's your name, man? Maria. Oh, nice to meet you, Maria. Nice to meet you. So, these are all the departments, hotlines, administration, family advocates. Administration uh, advocate. is the one here. Oh, administration. So, you're administration, yes. right? Yes. How those people can get an appointment to uh, one of these um, departments? Well, they have their number right there. So, you just call them and. Um, yeah. Is there any public information officer available that can speak to us? An officer, let me go ahead and get somebody. Thank you so much, Hunda. Yeah. Thank you, bro. I thought you were just being like the usual security guards that they just want to get into people's businesses. No. I didn't want to be rude. Yeah, I'm actually working. I was wondering. Oh, if you my bad, bro. My bad. I didn't want to sound rude. You know, if I sound rude, you know, I didn't want to. But you know what we're doing, right? Yeah, First Amendment. All Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're representing your company really good today because yesterday I had a little encounter with the um, one at the mental health department. He went a little cuckoo on me. Have you got the memo yet? No. But you guys been trained on the First Amendment, I'm assuming, right? Mm -hmm. Or is it that you know the law from, yeah. from the cuckoo? I like that. I like that. That's what we want to see. Uh, the the Visalia Transit, huh? Yeah, about a long, long time ago. Damn. That's cool. So you've been working for a long time. Did you ever see your video? Yeah. <laughs> did he mess up or did he pass? Uh, no, I went off of what they told me, oh. and then you guys showed up, and then they changed their mind. And but he didn't do. It, he didn't make himself look like a big old fool or nothing like okay. the rest of them. Though. Oh. Yeah, no, they just didn't want to be recorded, so they told me to ask you guys to leave. You guys wouldn't leave, so they had someone come from upstairs, and then she just changed everything because she didn't want to argue. Damn, it kind of sucks, you know, because they put you out in the front, you know, yeah. doing that. Yeah, it was, it was actually a uh, music in California and said, Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, man. I knew I recognized him while we were talking when we entered, that we, we kind of knew you. But that's good, man. I mean, at least you're, 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 you're professional. As I said, man, if I went off to you a little bit, like, because I thought you were going to pull out something on me. But that yeah, was no, I was just asking if you guys actually need help. Anyway. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. We're just, I'm actually here to get some information on the department because I've never been here. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what services you guys provide here. Whoa. Well, what well, can people get here? Right, there's the permit center, like if you want to add on to a house or something. Okay. That's where you go for that. Environmental health, it's like if you're opening up a business like food or something. Okay. You set up something with them. And then if you want to vote or register to vote, you can go over here. Damn, man. I like you now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Have you ever thought about doing YouTube? Uh, no, I'm good. How about investing? Nah, I'm broke. Bro, like, trust me, 10 bucks, you can flip 10 bucks into 500 bucks by tomorrow. You want a link? If you invest 50 bucks right now, and I'll give you a link, if you invest 50 bucks, you get three stocks off of me. Bro, I'm a security guard, we don't make anything. <laughs> Bro, all you, need, all you need is 50 bucks, I'll shoot you the link, get my number, and you get three free stocks. You can get a stock that's worth 2,000 bucks. I'm not joking, bro, like, I, if you want me to help you, I'll help you out. Look at my channel, Kern County Transparency. Uh, my email is there, my PO box is there. Send me a letter, I'll send you the link, and trust me, bro, I'll help you out to start investing a little bit, but I'll help you out. I'm good for now, I got to okay. money. All right, that's good, man. I'm just saying, you know, because I do like helping people to invest or teaching them how to invest. Yeah. You never know, man. Crypto is the, crypto is the, is the future to me, so yeah, it's, it's getting there. Yeah. But everyone's different, you know, some people like that, some people don't. Are we allowed to go into the uh, departments or we need an appointment for that? Uh, you need an appointment. I like, noticed if that. You need to go to the restroom, that's cool, but. Okay. Because of COVID, they don't really want yes. people going into a bunch of random spots. No, no, I understand that. I understand. So, 
So pretty much we need an appointment because I did notice that at the front right yeah. there it says um, appointments only, no walking. So I'm yeah. not gonna push it. It's because they're really short staffed and they don't want a lot of people in the rooms. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I, I understand. Man. I don't want to. Yeah. Put people at risk, you know. I don't know if someone is sick or actually had a contact with someone that was sick, and then I'm gonna get people sick. Honestly, man, no one ever knows. So like a few days later, right? They'll shut the place down and take everybody out and clean. Right, and I imagine the people that need the services, they get Yeah, there's food. actually a few people that actually came in knowing they were positive, and we had to kick them out. Oh, that's jacked up. They yeah. should make that a crime. If you willfully, knowingly, you do that, they should make that a crime. Because I don't yeah. think it's fair for people to be getting sick because you don't care. You know, but that's just me. But yeah, what's your name? If may I get it, if it's possible, I'm not. Yeah, my name's Nate. It's on your Nate? guys' last video. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's cool, man. Well, thanks a lot for being professional. Again, I appreciate you lots. Um, I hope we'll learn something from last video. Well, I'm gonna try to get that video though. Um, howdy there. Hi. Okay, Carrie Montero is our contact okay. person. She is not available today. Sounds good. You are more than welcome to come tomorrow. She will be okay. in the office, and you can call her and set up an appointment. I'll probably give her a call so I can just. Um, do you have any pamphlet? Oh, you got you guys. Yeah, we have all this right here. Because I usually print them out and attach them to my video. That way, people can know what's going on here. Okay. So, okay. Thank you so much for being professional. Thank you. So we're gonna be calling Carrie Montero, and I'll be adding some of these pamphlets. Um, these are the services they provide here. Oh, they got Lindsay here. They got Porterville and Protect Your Family. See? This is a really important, um, this is a really important one, guys. You might want to read it. I don't know if I can actually post them on, on social media, but where my friend went. Uh, how's it going there? How's your day going? Come here, let me talk to you a little bit. <laughs> Just a quick question. Do you actually know when it's going to be fully open or is it until the COVID goes away? Honestly, man, I have no idea. Me neither, because it's been closed already for a, or a limited. It's like, been limited for a It's been limited, like right? Years now. Yeah, it's crazy. No idea, they said it was going to last a year, but I think we're going on to the third year now. Yeah, I have no idea. Well, thanks a lot. I'm just waiting for my friend to come out. Yeah, thank you. So, Tilleri County, it's over there. Filming La Filmacion. Hey, just real quick, just wanted to tell you thank you for being professional and for providing me with the number. I'll be getting a hold of her. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Thank you. You too. Later, bro. Stay safe, man. All right. All right, so really professional people here. I got to say that that's when changes are being made. You can tell changes are being made on these people. So I appreciate the guy for being professional. Give him a shout out. Give a shout out to his company. He's awesome. Damn, I like that, you know? Like, that's what we like to see. People that are professional, that respect our rights. Uh, yeah, Casey Cameron, boy. And to Larry County Cop Watch. This is it.